What's going on guys? My name's Caleb Trackengast. This is Buffalo Creek Outdoors. Today's video is gonna be a timely one, I feel like. It's about a month till season, till turkey season here in North Carolina. Today's video is gonna be all about my 2024 turkey shotgun setup. Let's jump on into it. First morning, first morning. Bam, baby! Woo! Yes, sir. All right guys, so like I said, this is gonna be my 2024 turkey shotgun setup. Uh, one thing about this gun, this is the newest iteration of the Benelli M2 and a 20 gauge shotgun. This one's gonna be in the timber pattern. Uh, I really, really like this pattern, especially for turkey hunting, but I just like the way it looks, to be honest with you. Uh, I wanted to go with something different other than a black shotgun. I do feel like a black shotgun just kind of sticks out in the turkey woods. Maybe wrong, but to me, having a camo gun seems like a uh, pretty key part of a turkey setup. Like I said, this is the brand new, I think it's uh, 2023 is when they updated the M2. For you guys that are out there looking to put a speed bead or something like that on this gun, it will not fit based on the old M2. Um, the, the angle of the shotgun, the angles, the design of the shotgun is completely different. So that speed bead mount that goes between your stock and your action and your receiver, it will not work. Tried that, it didn't work. So I ended up drilling and tapping and putting a Burris Fast Fire 3 optic off of my old Mossberg 20 gauge. My old tried and true trusty lady in the woods. Uh, I've killed a bunch of turkeys with that gun, but I wanted something new, so this is my new setup. I drilled and tapped the top of this gun, put this Burris Fast Fire 3 on top of it, and I'm loving this setup so far. Uh, other than that, guys, that's really the only modification I've done to this gun. It didn't come drilled and tapped. You can get a M2 that is drilled and tapped. It's their turkey edition. Uh, I didn't do that. I ended up going with the 26-inch barrel on this gun because I felt like that was a good all around option for a turkey gun, duck gun, rabbit gun. That's kind of what I wanted in this gun. I wanted it to be an all around, do it all type of shotgun. If I had my specific, if I had a specific shotgun that I was only gonna use for turkey, I'd probably wanna go with like a 24 inch barrel or maybe even shorter. But this gun, I've been super pumped with the patterns that it's pumping out with that 26 inch barrel. So, like I said, shotgun, brand new Benelli M2. One thing that I is key to me in a turkey shotgun, uh, I hunted with a pump for a long, long time, and I really, really wanted to go to a semi-auto. I like the semi-auto for the fact of quick uh, second shot, second follow-up shot, third follow-up shot, whatever it may take, but you get quick follow-up shots with a semi-automatic shotgun. Another thing is just the sleekness in the design of a semi-auto and how quiet it is going through the woods. One thing I noticed with my Mossberg is that I, when I was going through the woods, the fore end would just kind of rattle. If I'd bump it up against something or if I was just holding it in my hand, that foregrip would just rattle on that gun. This one doesn't do that. That's one, another big reason why, sorry, I got mosquitoes buzzing around my head. That's another reason why I went with a semi-automatic shotgun for this season. On top of that, uh, the ergonomics of these Benelli's is second to none. As far as the way these guns shoulder, I feel like this has been, the Benelli's, especially the M2, has been my favorite shouldering shotgun. Um, for a long time now, I've really, really wanted like a Super Black Eagle 3. Uh, I ended up going with the Benelli M2 over the, th the Super Black Eagle 3 and a 20. Uh, one for money and two because the weight and the size of this gun is just slightly smaller than the Super Black Eagle 3. And from what everybody was saying, the patterns and the ergonomics of the shotgun are nicer. So that's why I ended up going with this over the more up-to-date Super Black Eagle 3. But so far, like I said, I'm loving the shotgun. I have added a little shell holder on the back, mainly because it gives a little bit of a neoprene cushion on the stock and it puts my eye directly in line of sight with my optic 
And then I've just added, added a uh, Quaker State, I believe, um, is what this little, what this sling is. Sling really doesn't matter a whole lot. It's just what I prefer. Uh, on the front here, you'll notice that I've got a GoPro mount. Uh, I just zip tied this GoPro mount on the barrel uh, just to get that action shot, that um, kill shot on video when I'm hunting solo and filming solo. And then as far as a choke, that's a big topic of discussion between guys for a turkey gun. Everybody wants to know, especially myself, what choke are you running? If you're running an M2, let me know down in the comments below what choke tube you're running in this gun. I did try one of the True Lock Penhody Project 585s in this gun. It didn't like it very much. So right now I'm currently shooting the factory full in this gun. I'll have a video link down below. The following video after this one will be me patterning this, patterning this gun and I'll tell you what loads, what choke and everything else that I'm gonna shoot this year. But as of right now, I have been very happy with the patterns that I've gotten out of the factory full choke with a, I'll tell you what load in the next video, um, out to 50 yards. I don't think I would run this gun much past 50 with this choke setup, but at the same time at 20 yards with this thing, it is, I mean, it is so tight. You better be dead on that turkey. So uh, I wanna wanna do, I wanna go ahead and weigh this gun, the way it's set up with two shells, it's not loaded, the gun is not loaded, but two shells in the gun, uh, in the tube and I'll give you a full weight on this gun the way I have it set up. So that's the other key feature for a turkey gun and why I went, another reason why I went with this Benelli M2 is just the weight. These things are so light. 6.6 pounds on this scale. Like I said, that is with a Burris Fast Fire 3 optic, a sling and two shells in the tube, not one in the chamber, and then my GoPro mount. You can't beat that for a small, lightweight turkey gun in a 20 gauge. I really think that the 20 gauge is the key size, at least in the, the type of turkey hunting that I do, I love a 20. You don't get the kick of a 12. Shells are a little bit cheaper for the shells that I buy. Uh, and you just get that small, compact, lightweight size. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, new Benelli M2. I love this system. Oh, another key thing that I want to talk about. If you are going to get a semi-automatic shotgun and see, and Benelli used to be bad about this. Used to, with this rotary action, you just, you ease that action forward. Say you're trying to be quiet. Say you forget to put your shell in, you got a turkey right there. You're trying to be quiet. You're trying to ease your bolt forward. Used to on these Benelli's, you could ease it forward and it wouldn't latch. It wouldn't roll over and you go, you get that dreaded Benelli click. Well now, you literally can take this gun and ease it forward and just push on that action and it rotates It rotates all the way around. So there, I just barely push and it rotates. That is another thing that I almost forgot to talk about, but it is a very key feature for me and another reason why I chose to go with the Benelli. So guys, like I said, this is my 2024 turkey setup for a shotgun. I'm also gonna be hunting with a longbow but I'll probably be carrying this quite a bit when I'm solo hunting. So like I always say, guys, if you have any questions, any comments, comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see for this turkey season. And once again, remember to live your life to the fullest. Use your passions to bless others. Please like and subscribe down below, and we'll catch you on the next video.